In this video, we're going to talk about how to change the internal comfort padding on LS2 helmets. Now, I usually recommend if it's a full face helmet or any helmet that has a face shield, remove the face shield first just to make it easier to get in and out of the helmet with your hands. Also, this is called a chin skirt or chin curtain, and it's just a slip fit, and I always recommend that you get it out of the way. It slides between this inner portion of uh, padding here and this rubber gasket. So just slide it out. There you go. Now, the cheek pad itself has another strip of plastic, much like this, that slides into that same groove. On most helmets, there's at least one spot that has a Velcro attachment. On this particular model, it's here. But sometimes it will run in different spots along the way, and you just gently break that free. So what I usually do is I reach to the inside and I unsnap the back snaps first and then the front snap and then I just peel it out and you can hear the velcro coming loose right there and there it is and I just slide that out all the way. Then you take the strap and slide it through the chin pad and boom it's out. Now you can see that we have the three snaps here and of course there are corresponding snaps on the inside where you would attach it. You just want to make sure that you take a straight shot when you push that back in so that you don't bend either of these. Now they are pretty hard plastic but again it's just a good precautionary measure. Now we can remove the top padding and in this particular model there's velcro that holds it on in the forehead area here and there are snaps at the back here. So the first thing I do is I pop the snap and then just slide it out. You can peel the Velcro and out it comes. On some models, instead of snaps, there are these little prongs and you just find there's a hole in here that they insert into, you line it up at the hole and push it straight in. And just like the snaps, you just want to make sure that it's lined up properly before you push too hard. On models like the FT2 that have a built-in sunscreen, Instead of snaps or prongs, they use this plate. It's pretty easy. You just slip it out, and you can hear it snap. You take it all the way out, and then just wiggle it right back into place when you want to reinstall it, and just make sure it's lined up nicely, and you're done. To reinstall the top pad, you're basically just reversing the procedure, but the one thing that I do differently is I do the back snaps first. That aligns everything, so it's really easy to line up the Velcro. Once you've snapped it in, it's just a matter of tucking everything back in properly lining up your Velcro. You can always pull it out and put it back in if you need to. It's no problem. Then to reinstall the cheek pads, you just want to remember to line up your three snaps with the three snaps that are inside the helmet. And remember to put your strap through before you snap the, the pad in. The final step is to just tuck in that plastic guide. I've already started it here just to save a few minutes of time. But you just work it in between the shell and the liner and you'll feel it as you get to the Velcro. You can feel that, that Velcro taking hold. And there you go. You're done. 